Hey girls, Tiffany Dawn here and welcome back for another week of Tuesday Girl Talk about everything girl related and today it's beauty, body image, and insecurity. So I actually have my friend Esther coming back to join me. You girls met her a few weeks ago and let me have her introduce herself to you. Hi guys, my name is Esther. Me and my husband have our own YouTube channel called Matt and Esther, where we film all sorts of faith-based videos. She and her husband Matt do like awesome videos together and they're hysterical and really good, so check them out. So today Esther and I are each gonna give you three really practical tips that we use in our own lives to help when we're feeling insecure. So comment below what other tips do you use to help and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And stay to the end of the video to hear where in Europe my husband and I are today. I think we all have those days when we feel just really crappy about ourselves. I know I've had many days when I'm like, I hate my hair, I hate my face, I hate my body, I hate my personality. But on those days when I feel insecure, I run as fast as I can to Psalm 139. And what I do is just read it out loud and pray it back to God. Let me give you an example. So Psalm 139 verses one and two say, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. And I will just read that out loud and then pray like, God, you are such an intimate creator. You know me and you love me and I'm seen by you. Like I'm not invisible to you. And I will just go through the entire Psalm that way. And it just lets me know like, yes, I may feel insecure, but I am seen, I am known, and I am loved by my Father God. Be Christ focused instead of self focused. I think what happens when, or at least what happened in my case when I wasn't feeling like enough is that I would just analyze myself and I'd look at my looks and I'd compare it to the media and I'd compare it to other people I know. I'd look at my personality. Was I loud enough? Was I too quiet? Did I like reading too much? Should I have liked, you know, sport and being good at that sort of thing? And I'd just compare my personality. I'd compare who I was. And I think what can happen is that a lot of people can can gather around us and they can really try and help us see our worth by saying things like you know you are beautiful you are funny and while that isn't a bad thing and you should all know that God loves you completely and God values you so much all those things do is make you think about yourself again you start thinking well is that true what they're saying my tip is just that if you are focused on Jesus and if you are focused on bringing his kingdom to earth and having his attributes and character and personality in your lives that will really limit the time that you spend thinking about yourself and about analyzing yourself and even though those things will be there they aren't first position in your thought anymore you have to make Jesus the first thought in your mind Back in college, I was getting ready to go to this dinner party and I was so nervous. I was like, everybody there is gonna judge me. They're gonna be like, she's not pretty enough. She's not nice enough. And I was talking to my mentor about this and she said something that like changed my life forever. She was like, when you go to this party, don't focus on how you feel about yourself. Instead, focus on how you can make the other people there feel loved. Cause a lot of them are gonna be feeling insecure too. So see how you can make them feel comfortable. And girls, like it works. It was like magic. It was like when I stopped focusing on myself and on my insecurities and started focusing on somebody else, I felt more confident. It was so weird because it was like I just wasn't paying attention to my insecurities and so I kind of forgot about them. And I had a great time at the party and I made a lot more friends than I would have because I was able to just love people and people want to be loved. So when you're feeling insecure, like going into a social situation, just focus on loving the other people there. You'll actually gain more friends and feel better about yourself in the process. <laughs> Make sure that you surround yourself with people who are encouraging, who aren't going to tear you down. Because I think if you're feeling like you're not enough, one of the things that I found really hard was when someone would say something like, oh, that wasn't very funny, or why have you got your hair like that? Or why are you wearing that? If you surround yourself with people who aren't very nice and who just criticize you and criticize who you are, then that really hinders you being able to feel like you are enough. What you need 
to do is surround yourself with people who are loving and who love God and who really want the best for you. And I know that can be hard because sometimes the people in our lives that might discourage us might be parents or siblings or people like that. But make sure you have other people in your life who do love you and do encourage you in the right way. And the best way to do that, I would say, is go and find a church family who really want the best for you and will really kind of draw you into that community and look after you and love you. When I was in college, I got to study abroad in Australia and I loved my time there, but the whole time I was there, I had my passport with me and it reminded me that I came from America and I was going back to America in four months. Ultimately, it didn't really matter what the people in Australia thought of me because I wasn't from there. It wasn't my forever home. And in the same way, we need that passport, which in one sense is our Bible, that just reminds us like, I came from God when he made me in my mother's womb. And at the end of my life, I'm going back to spend eternity with God and really this life is like studying abroad. It's short, it's beautiful, it's full of purpose and yet it's not my forever home. Because when I, when I feel insecure it's because I'm worried about what people think of me here in this world. And so make yourself a passport, like a visual reminder that says, oh right, this world isn't my home. I've often written scripture verses on index cards and just put them in my purse or I'd write a scripture on my hand. My cousin like put scripture verses all over her mirror. So first thing in the morning when she looks in the mirror, she sees who she is in Christ. So make a visual reminder and that will put this life in perspective. And my third top tip for when you don't feel like you're enough. Try and pinpoint what is making you specifically feel that way. Is it the media? Is it the sort of films that you're watching and the magazines that you're reading? Is it the friends that you are hanging around? Is it a guy that you're with that is making you feel like you are not enough? Try and pinpoint what exactly it is and then take steps to try and overcome that. So if it means cutting out a relationship that isn't good for you, if it's a guy and he is making you feel like you aren't worth anything and you might need to cut that relationship out of your life then think about that and pray about that and take those steps. If it's that you're watching a certain film or a certain TV show or you're reading certain magazines and you're looking at those people in the media and you're kind of thinking well I can never be good enough or I can never look like that. Well first of all remember that you know makeup and editing all of that stuff you know they have a lot of things done to them to make them look like that. But second of all just kind of cut that out if that is something that is really eating away at you because it's just not worth it and I think just in general just make sure that you are just praying about it and just asking God like God help me to see myself the way that you see me. The thing is there's a problem in our society today that a lot of people don't feel like they are enough and that is just a complete lie because God made you. God sent Jesus to die for you because he loves you so much and God wants to know you and he wants a relationship with you. So those thoughts of I don't feel like I'm enough that is a lie and it is not true and so just really take that to God and say God I want to see myself how you see me. So girls, thank you for being here with me today and thank you so much to Esther for sharing. Definitely check out her channel. The link is in the description below. And comment below, like what helps you when you're feeling insecure? Because I would love to hear your ideas and steal them for myself. And where we are in Europe today, James and I are actually in Dubrovnik, Croatia today. Follow on my Instagram at tiffanydawniqb if you wanna see pictures, cause I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous and amazing. I'll see you on Friday. Love you girls, bye.